The Cooper Union returns to being test required for some applicants. That is the topic of today's video. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. You can learn more about me and how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process on my website, which is collegemeister.com. And if you're interested in learning about whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America, visit areyouontracktogetin.com. Again, that's areyouontracktogetin.com at which you will complete a free three-minute assessment. Your results will be emailed to you right away, and they will help you clarify whether or not you are or your student is on track for selective college admission in the United States of America. I don't talk about the Cooper Union much because it's a small niche school. Uh, but it really is a great school for the right type of student. Who is the right type of student for the Cooper Union? Well, I would make the argument that the type of high school senior drawn to the Cooper Union for the advancement of science and art in New York City is typically a highly motivated, intellectually curious, and creative individual with a passion for innovation in art, architecture, or engineering. These students often excel in rigorous academic environments, displaying strong analytical and problem-solving skills, whether they're tackling complex math or science problems or exploring conceptual ideas in studio art. They are attracted to the Cooper Union's unique blend of technical precision and artistic freedom, as well as its commitment to fostering interdisciplinary collaboration. Many are urban enthusiasts, excited by the prospect of studying in a vibrant East Village, where they can immerse themselves in New York City's cultural and professional opportunities while engaging with a tight-knit, diverse community of thinkers and makers. These students are often self-driven and thrive in environments that demand both independence and teamwork. They may have a portfolio of impressive work, whether it's architectural designs, fine art pieces, or engineering projects demonstrating their ability to think critically and creatively. Cooper Union's merit-based admissions process, including its challenging home tests for art and architecture applicants, appeals to students who are confident in their abilities and eager to showcase their unique perspectives. Additionally, many students are drawn to its strong financial incentives for attending. Its financial aid is quite impressive. It used to be free of charge, making it an attractive option for those who value accessible and high-quality education. They are not deterred by the school's intense workload and are prepared to meet its high expectations. And socially and ethically, it's important to note that Cooper Union attracts students who align with its mission of advancing science and art for the public good. These high school seniors then that are attracted to the Cooper Union often have a strong sense of social responsibility inspired by the school's history of activism and its founder, Peter Cooper's vision of education as a tool for societal progress. They may be involved in community service, advocacy, or projects that address real-world issues, from sustainable design to social justice through art. This combination of intellectual rigor, creative ambition, and a desire to make a meaningful impact makes the ideal Cooper Union applicant a dynamic, forward-thinking individual ready to contribute to both the campus and the world beyond. So this year, however, 2025, I have to report that some applicants to the Cooper Union will also need to submit SAT or ACT scores with their application because the Cooper Union is returning to being a test required institution for engineering applicants only. So here's what it looks like on the Cooper Union website. School of Architecture remains test optional. School of Art remains test optional. And the School of Engineering is going back to being test scores required. Now, Cooper Union does say that School of Engineering applicants are required to submit their SAT or ACT scores. However, scores will be evaluated in context with your application as part of our holistic review. And as you know, if you watch my videos, holistic review is code for equitable review. And that basically means that depending on where you're applying from and what adversity admissions officers at the Cooper Union deem you've had to overcome or maybe have yet to overcome but have had to face, uh, they're going to assess your test scores differently. So don't you worry, none. Uh, you might not have the very best test scores as an engineering applicant, but you're still going to have to submit them, and then it will be up to the Cooper Union to decide if they expect out of you a 1570 
or out of you, a 1370 or something even lower, depending on your unique background and your unique context and your unique adversity faced. Now, for the other applicants, the architecture and the art applicants, if you are still capable of mustering strong SAT or ACT scores, I strongly recommend you submit them. But uh, once your scores uh, are below the top 25% of the typically accepted student at the Cooper Union, that's the point at which you really want to weigh the pros and cons of whether or not it's worth submitting your SAT or ACT scores to the Cooper Union. I should state also that even though the ACT has gone to a model of having the science section as being optional, if you ultimately want to submit your ACT scores to the Cooper Union for engineering, please, please, please take the ACT with the optional science section and hopefully do well in that science section because after all, you are applying to an engineering program at the Cooper Union that is requiring your test scores you don't want to skip the science section if you are applying to the Cooper Union for engineering. Otherwise, the Cooper Union uses the Common App for its first-year undergraduate applicants, and there are additional supplemental requirements specific to each of its three schools, the Irwin S. Chanin School of Architecture, the School of Art, and the Albert Nurkin School of Engineering. All applicants must submit the Common App, including academic transcripts, letters of recommendation, and a $75 application fee, which is waivable, of course, for qualifying students. The application includes school-specific supplemental essays. For example, engineering applicants have typically answered questions about their interest in Cooper Union's community and their chosen major, and done so in uh, roughly 350 words or fewer. The School of Architecture and School of Art require additional portfolio-based components. Architecture applicants traditionally receive a studio test, and art applicants receive a home test sent via email after the application deadline. These tests, which must be completed within one month typically, are critical for evaluating creative and technical skills. Engineering applicants do not submit portfolios traditionally. Cooper Union is highly selective with an overall acceptance rate of 13% for the fall 2024 entering class based on 2,678 applicants. Selectivity varies significantly by school due to differences in program size and application requirements. The School of Architecture is the most competitive with a 4% acceptance rate. Reflecting its small incoming class of 30 to 35 students, the School of Art has a 9% acceptance rate, admitting 60 to 70 students, while the School of Engineering is less selective at 23%, admitting around 125 students across its majors. Academic expectations are rigorous across all schools. Admitted students typically have a GPA around 3.71 weighted and a mix of A's and B's, often in advanced courses like AP or IB. For engineering, SAT scores for admitted students range from 1,400 to 1,520 typically. That's, again, the middle 50%, with 50% scoring 653 to 790 in math and 630 to 720 in reading and writing. The ACT scores range from 31 to 35. Architecture and art students, again, test optional, but exceptional portfolios are crucial the holistic admissions process emphasizes faculty review, particularly for architecture and art, where talent and creativity often weigh as heavily as academics. Again, there's only a small number of students at Cooper Union in a very big city, only around 900 undergraduates, which really does foster a tight-knit community where faculty, who often are practicing professionals, provide personal mentorship. The Cooper Union is interdisciplinary in approach, which sets it apart and encourages collaboration across its schools through shared foundation courses and projects that blend technical precision with artistic innovation. The curriculum is intense, with a focus on hands-on learning, whether through studio work, design projects, or engineering research. And again, beyond academics, Cooper Union's legacy of social activism and its Great Hall, a historic venue for public discourse, Imbue it with a distinct ethos. Students are encouraged to engage with real-world issues, from sustainable design to social justice through art, aligning with the school's mission to create positive societal impact. Cooper Union's blend of affordability 
Interdisciplinary excellence and a commitment to the public good makes the institution a singular force for driven, creative minds eager to shape the future. Before we go, I want to remind you that I've launched a new course, 17 Silly Mistakes That Even Ivy League Applicants Make on the Common App. This course gives you the information you need to make sure that your application doesn't fall down on the job where so many applications sadly do. The undeniable fact of the matter is that many strong students who should be strong college applicants are making silly mistakes on the Common App. And guess what? This is even happening to students aiming for Ivy League admission. So if you are serious about earning admission to the Common App colleges on your list, make it a priority to enroll in my course, 17 Silly Mistakes That Even Ivy League Applicants Make on the Common App. You'll be glad you did. And when you finish your Common App and want to know if it's as strong as possible and whether or not in its current condition your chances of admission are impressive, inconclusive, or inadequate, you need my pre-read. Getting my pre-read now means having me review your entire application, just like an admissions officer or admissions committee will review it later, and receiving by email no later than the time you reserve a comprehensive report highlighting what's working and what's not on your full Common App and one Common App supplement. If you've yet to submit your Common App, my pre-read may motivate you to make adjustments to it before your deadline. If you've already submitted your Common App, my pre-read will prepare you for what I deem to be your likely admissions outcome at the institution in question. To purchase my pre-read now, go to mypreread.com. Again, that's mypreread.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one throughout the entire college admissions process, go to my website, which is collegemeister.com. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and most importantly, stay stress-free throughout the entire college admissions process.